Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get color centralized in a specific area with your eyeshadow. Um, I've had a few people leave comments um, saying that, well, how do you get the color you know, centralized to this part in your crease, you know, being that your lid space is so small or, you know, I have a s small lid space or maybe even smaller than mine. And when I try to apply the color, I get too much color or sometimes it goes too far up and they just want to get that color centralized just to that one particular small area in the crease. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Um, so I'll start off the look um, the same way I always do by um, prepping my eye or priming my eye. Um, I'm going to use the NYX uh, High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. Put a little bit and blend that out. And um, if you want to, you can definitely use a brush to blend that out, but um, I'm using my finger. Either one would work perfectly, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have that primer blended out. So next, I'm going to go ahead and blend out my crease. So for that, um, what I'm going to use is Max Brush, the 217 blending brush. I'm going to take Max Brown, medium brown color in saddle and blend that in my crease. Keep blending, of course, till you see no harsh lines. And just kind of fade that out. Just like that. I'm going to take Max Shader Brush to 239 brush and apply my lid color. I'm going to use this um, Frosted Color by MAC. I think it's called Honesty, but um, I can't really remember the name. Um, I think it's called Honesty, though. And I'm going to pack that on my lid. With the lid color, you guys, to get a high concentration of color, you really need to pack on that color. So take a generous amount, tap off the excess, and pack on that color. You don't want to wipe the color on like that because it usually wipes the color away. So just really pack that color in there so you can get that high concentration of bold color. Just like that. So now we get to the part of applying that color in that crease area where you get that color centralized to just specifically that area where you don't get it too high on the lid. So to do that, honestly, you guys, it's all about the tools that you use. Um, a lot of times people use like a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna show you what brush I mean. So sometimes you wanna be careful using Max 224 blending brush because if you notice, this, these hairs are really fluffy and it's wide and it, it kind of can get too spread out. So when you want to go into a smaller area to apply the color, sometimes the brush kind of widens and it can get the color up too high. It could spread it out a little too much if you know what I mean. I know some people who have that question, if you're using a 224 brush or a brush similar, sometimes when you're trying to hit a small area with a with trying to get centralized color, 
This brush will sometimes you have to be careful. If you're using a brush, there's a certain way you can use it to get it the way you want. Use the very, very tip of it, barely touching your eye, and you have to blend it on the eye using just a few of the hairs on the very tip. But especially for beginners, um, you might wanna just avoid using this until you're more experienced. So, what brush should you use? The MAX um, 217 brush that I used to blend saddle with. This one's pretty good because unlike this one, this one's more tightly, densely packed with the hairs. It doesn't get as, this one gets so fluffy, this one doesn't fluff out or spread out as much. So when you're trying to get in a small area, it stays stiff. And when you blend it, it can stay localized to that area. That's a good one. Sometimes you have to think outside of the box and be creative. The 239 brush, shader brush that I used to pack on that lid color, instead of using this way, you can go to the, the, the tip of the brush and go in and apply the color that way and lightly fade it out. That can keep the color centralized to that area also. Be creative, you never know. A pencil brush, Max 219 brush. A lot of people use it to blend out the water line or just different things when you want centralized specific color. This is another good one to use. A lot of times you have to think outside of the box and not necessarily use the brushes that you quote always see YouTubers use or you always see makeup artists use in general. This brush, centralized to that area, if you use a very light hand, you can also blend it out. It works. Another brush. This is Max 214 brush. Usually it's used to blend out the waterline. This brush is used for, you know, hitting color when you when you want it, the color to be localized to specific areas, generally not a huge area on the eye. Same thing. You can hit that area of color, centralize to that area and it won't get too high or too low. So those are some brushes you can use. I'm gonna take Max uh, Eyeshadow and Forgery and use the 217 blending brush and go right in. And if you notice, that color stays in that area. It doesn't go up too high at all. Even though my lid space is small, some of you might have, you know, small lid space like me or even smaller. If you notice, this color is not going all the way in up. It's not disturbing that saddle color. It's not covering it up. So that's why these brushes would be good brushes. You can get the color in that area without having to worry about it getting too high and messing up the look that you were going for. So that's it. Simple as that. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and apply my lashes. I'll be right back. So I'm back and this is the final look. So basically um, I just added lashes and smudged out a little liner um, on my bottom lash line and that's about it. So using um, just smaller, stiffer brushes, basically, um, that's what's gonna be your best friend when it comes to getting that high color payoff in a small area without getting the color up too high. So um, just think outside of the box sometimes, even with other, other parts of your makeup um, that you feel that you're not able to blend the way you want to or get the color, you know, really the way the way you think it should look or you know it should look, but you've seen other artists generally use one thing. You might wanna just start just being creative. Um, think about some of the brushes that help you do, you know, certain other parts of your face and, you know, maybe something that was meant for the lips you could use for the eye or, you know, vice versa. You know, it's just think outside of the box. You never know sometimes. But for what helps me is using, you know, a brush that's more dense, you know, and, um, a little bit more stiffer than that 224 brush. So um, that's it, and I was able to get that color, 
you know, in the air in the area that I wanted it um, without being, um, you know, going up too high. So um, I hope this video was uh, very informative for you. Um, if you have any comments, please leave it below. Thank you so much for, for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Bye. See you next time.